Hi guys, it's Carissa, and I have a special guest. It's Lucy, and she's smelling my lip gloss? Or my breath? Oh, it's probably my breath. Hi, Luce. She was making a bunch of noise on the floor, so uh, speaking of breath. I'm very excited because today I have my very first Lush haul. I have wanted to go to Lush, the one that's kind of near where I live, but it's always packed in there and I've always felt really intimidated to go in because it looked like there was barely any room to walk in there, let alone really take a look at things. So recently my sister and I were on a trip a little ways out of town and the two of us decided let's go to Lush and look around in there and just, you know, smell things and try things and you know, really experience it because beyond bath bombs, I really don't have any personal idea of what they've got. So I, uh, I hate this. I was in retail management for a very long time and I would not have allowed this to happen. I don't know if this happens in every Lush store, but we were basically run out of there by pushy sales staff. Um, they weren't even really being pushy about the product. They were, it was more like they were trying so hard to engage us that they prevented us from shopping. They were just talking to us so much. And they, I think there were four or five girls in there and every single one of them took their turn with us and just wouldn't shut the F up so we could shop. And it wasn't even, they weren't even talking about the product after a while. One girl was talking about her hair color and I don't know. I don't mean to be rude, but I was there to look around and not to talk to the staff. And it was a very, very small store, so I think that made it feel even worse. So we left. The second we had an opportunity to get away from somebody, we left. They didn't get a penny of our money, and then I couldn't stop thinking about the products. They smelled so good. I loved the way my skin felt, so I went online that night and ordered the products that I was able to try in the store, because one girl did a demo on each of us, but... Again, that was the products they were picking to show us. That wasn't the stuff that we wanted to look around and see. I've had this for a few days now. I did not know that Lush is out of Canada, but I received my package pretty quickly considering it was international and it probably had to go through customs and all that stuff. Well, I'm sure it had to go through customs. Now, one of the first things that we realized we liked when we were in there was all the rose scented products. We were smelling the rose bath bombs and we came across this Turkish Delight shower smoothie. So the smell of this Turkish Delight is what drew us in initially. Um, we were told it has a thousand and one Turkish roses or the equivalent of that in each container. Um, oh, it smells so good. You guys know how I feel about rose, right? I love it, but I feel bullied by society because everybody says it smells like old lady. So I feel like I can't wear it, but I can put this on before bed and love it. And Mike thinks it smells good too, so that's wonderful. It says Turkish Rose Absolute, which is probably, what is that, like a concentrate of rose petal and extra moisturizing cocoa butter and a hydrating almond oil. Oh, so that's a shower product. Of course there's some in the lid and I just got, I just got it on the container. Next, what I picked up was this Rose Argan Body Conditioner, and this is another in-shower product. I believe you would follow up the Turkish Delight with this. It says, packed full of exotic ingredients to feed and nourish the skin. Argan oil, cocoa butter, some other kind of butter, I don't know. Capacho butter, Brazil nut, and almond oils, and shea butter. There's a lot of butters going on in here. And, um can smell it through the container. It smells so good. There we go. And this is, this is really light um, as far as the fragrance goes and it's also a really thin consistency but it made my skin feel so nice. And the fragrance between the two of them lasted for several hours after I put it on. I thought that would be so nice to put on in the shower at the end of a rough day. Oh, how wonderful is that? I was also given a demo of the massage bar and the one that I tried was Tender is the Night and that is the um, the cream colored oval one with a little flower on it. This smells so good. I don't know if it says what the fragrance is in it here. Um, it's mostly vanilla and jasmine. But again, it's a very soft fragrance. Now this is super oily because it's meant to be used for massage. So you can follow it up with this um, silky underwear dusting powder, which I got, which is also good for the summertime for like, you know, the sweaty boob thing. Just 
And I don't know if this is something they do all the time or if this was just something I got lucky enough to do when I placed my order. It kind of looked like it wasn't something that they normally do, but I could be wrong. I was offered the option to get two sample products. Um, and there were only two that really interested me, I guess I could say. Um, they all are probably great, but I picked the facial moisturizer. This is Celestial. And wow, they really fill that up like right to the top. There is a cat hair somewhere. I was just petting my cat. I am such a cat lady. Oh, there it goes. Be free. And then I have this, which I don't remember if this is what I picked or not, now that I'm looking at it. You know how sometimes Sephora does that? They like change the product if they don't have the one that you asked for. Anyway, this says Sympathy for the Skin Body Lotion Hydrating Vanilla Banana Custard. This could be bad. Okay, that smells really nice, but it look but could you give me some? Maybe? Do you see that? Can you see that? Like thanks for nothing? No, I'm just kidding. They just they certainly were a lot more generous with the facial moisturizer than they were with this one. So those are my new products from Lush. If you have any recommendations, I would love to hear them. Bath bombs smell awesome, but I do not have a bathtub that I fit in. So that's not something that I would necessarily use. I know that you can just throw it in your shower while you are in there, but I feel like it's not quite the same experience and you really don't get the benefit of the ingredients on your skin that way either. So anything other than the bath bombs, if there's something that you really love the fragrance of or anything in there that you would recommend to anyone, I would love to hear what it is. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.